everybody stunned by a very early time set by Dave Zabriskie of America, 20 minutes, 51 seconds. This, to me, is a little piece of cycling history because Armstrong is on the wheel there of Ulrich and he's blown by him. Oh, and he took one glance, Ulrich, and he's gone. 48, 49, 50, 51. Zabriskie's won the stage. Zabriskie has won the stage. Armstrong finishes second, 20, 53. Can you believe that? Robbie McEwen is opening up the sprint. Tom Bonin is trying to get over the top of him. As they come up to the line, it's Bonin and McEwen, and Tom gets it. What a finish. On the left. Here comes Tom Bonin now in the centre, being challenged by McEwen. This is a desperate move again. And Bonin's got the head of the first with Stuart O'Grady trying to break it. A little bit of a wobble. Bonin has done it again. Lance is going to leave this Tour de France into retirement, having led his team to the fastest ever time trial in the history of the event. Here they come now, driving up to the line. Wait for the smile. What determination. 110.4, 57.31 kilometers an hour. Lance Armstrong in the yellow jersey finally. It's still an awful long way before he gets himself up to Paris. But this was a great win. Bonin goes, McEwen chases him down, and now the green jersey again has hit the front, O'Grady is out of it, here comes McEwen, he's got the legs this time, Robbie McEwen is forced to the line and takes it, that's revenge for you. <laughs> Kersey Poo is the rider in blue as McGee tries to deliver Baden Cook to the line here, it's going to have to be a big sprint, still a lot to do for Tom Bonin as Cook goes on the left, and Brad, oh, McEwen tries, there's a crash in the middle, that was a very nasty fall as now it's uh, McEwen coming through on the left, McEwen being challenged by Bonin, Bonin gets the line, it's not Tom Bonin, McEwen, it, it McEwen. Could be McEwen, for nearly four and a half hours they've watched him on the television at the finishing line, now they can see him in person as he salutes the crowd, he gets his first ever stage win, he could not have imagined that was the way it was going to be when he left around midday today from the town of Jarobmer. And Christophe Moreau takes second, Voigt is third, the clocks have started now, let's wait for Armstrong. Lance Armstrong drops down into third place, but Michael Rasmussen, the Danish rider who was away today, moved up into fourth. And it's coming now, Valverde is looking for the win, Armstrong has seconded that, he's given up. Alessandro Valverde wins an incredible stage. Lance Armstrong, same time, the rest all get separate times. What an amazing race. Armstrong back in yellow. Well, they rode strong today, to use Lance Armstrong's word, because now he leads the Tour de France by 38 seconds from Michael Rasmussen. Ivan Basso, the man he felt would challenge, is already 2 minutes and 40 seconds in arrears. This is the big battle now for second and third place. Wearing number one, Armstrong is putting time between himself and everybody else in the field here this afternoon, except Ivan Basso, the man who accompanied him last year. Lance Armstrong sprints away, and just look, he's going to get a time gap here. He'll be measured with a time gap as he drives to the line. Yellow is second, Lance Armstrong stays leader of the Tour de France, and tonight increases his advantage over everyone. You won't believe what the crowd are doing here. They are leaping in every direction as Lance Armstrong brings his time trialing career in any race, particularly the Tour de France, to an end. He brings it to an end as a winner. The first ever stage he has won this year, the first bike race he has won this year. Armstrong wins the time trial and wins the Tour de France. Uh, the cynics and the skeptics I'm sorry for you. I'm sorry you can't dream big, and I'm sorry you don't believe in miracles. But this is one hell of a race. This is a great sporting event, and you should stand around and believe. You should believe in these athletes, and you should believe in these people. And uh, I'm a fan of the Tour de France for as long as I live, and there are no secrets. This is a hard sporting event, and hard work wins it. So, um, vive la Tour forever. Thank you. You couldn't say it better than that, could you? Lance Armstrong now wins his seventh Tour de France with a 4 minute and 40 second advantage over Ivan Basso, 6 minutes and 21 seconds ahead of Jan Ulrich. Tor Hushoff becomes the first man from Norway ever to win the green jersey competition as the best sprinter on every individual stage. And again, another Scandinavian on the podium. This man had a disastrous day yesterday in the individual time trial, but he is crowned the king of the mountains at this year's Tour de France, ahead of Oscar Pereiro and Lance Armstrong. Thank you.